one and a half can be worked out. And Jocelyn, she was very sick. She's been in the hospital for a week. She needs to go home to familiar surroundings yes. with her mother. I know that would be very nice. But the reason Jocelyn isn't safe with Carly is because of people like you. For God's sake, Jason, you gave up your son for that very reason. You know, I don't use Jake's death to justify taking Jocelyn away. Okay, regardless of how Jake died, you made the choice to keep him out of your life. Because you know how dangerous it is for children to be around you. Carl is not in the business. But she may as well be. And you and Sunny are a constant presence in her life. And her kids have already suffered because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I'm not going to let that happen to Joseph. If I learned anything by losing Jake, you can't live your life by hypotheticals. And you know what? The fact is, no matter how you feel about the people around Carly... She's still Jocelyn's mother. You chose to have a baby with her. You can't take Jocelyn away because you don't like Carly's friends. It must be nice to have a short memory. I remember how upset you were when Michael got shot. How you blamed yourself that his injury was a direct result of your criminality. No one has plans to expose Jocelyn to any kind of danger. What were your plans for Michael when he was Jocelyn's age? I bet they didn't include any of the things that he's been through. I mean, to this day... You've tried to stop him from making the bad choices that you made. And good luck with that. Because Michael following in Sonny's footsteps is yet another tragedy. Don't, don't make Michael your excuse. My point is that your pleas on Carly's behalf don't carry a lot of weight with me. Because of the choices that you've already made for Jake and for Michael. Something tells me that somewhere there inside you know that I'm right. Maybe. But your solution is not going to work. And you know Carly wouldn't go for that. Neither can I. It still amazes me when it comes to you and Sonny. You think I'd be used to it by now. But I'm still nearly astonished every time she chooses to ignore the danger that you present to her kids. So I think it's time I do what's best for my daughter. Uh, wh where was this moral outrage when you got married when you decided to have a Stay your breath, Jason, because Carly's argued this point a hundred times already. That, that I accepted you and Sonny, that you were part of the danger package, and I'm only now going after her because she left me, and that's not true. I married Carly because I loved her too much to let you and Sonny be the deal breaker. It's fool that I am actually thought that she would make the right choice when it came to choosing between you and Sonny and the safety of our daughter. Obviously, that's not true. Uh, that's nice, but it's years too late to suddenly decide that Carly's a threat to her daughter. You're the danger, Jason. It's people like you. I mean, the fact that you were even in my daughter's hospital room with your gun that only proves my point. Before you decide to go after Carly as an unfit mother, why don't we take a look at your family? Your brother, Jerry. He's not a psycho, is he? Every time he needs help, who does he go to? He goes to you. He was terrorizing Carly in your own living room. I did nothing to help Jerry. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. It's always look questionable. That's all it has to do in court. You know, why, why does it even have to be like this? You and Carly know how to communicate. Find something you can agree on. You know, I really wish that we could. But I think it's going to come down to the court's decision. Look, Jason, Justin's being released today. And I'm taking her home. No, you're not. Do I need to call security? You two need to take a step back. You can't possibly be okay with Jax taking Jocelyn away from her mother. You know I'm representing him. I, I, I can't have this Yeah, but there's nothing fair about insisting Jocelyn live in a hotel room Jason, instead of at home. It's not your call. All right, let's let the legal system sort this out. In the meantime, there's a beautiful little girl in there that deserves some sunshine and a walk yeah, in the park. Yeah, but back Carly's soon. not here, okay? She thought it was more important to run off with Sonny than pick up a daughter. So why should Jocelyn suffer from this that? This conversation is ridiculous, all right? You have no standing here. Jocelyn's been released. Her mother's not here. Her father is. Will you please step aside and let him take her to the park? Thank you. Hey, my little princess. Look at daddy's little girl. She's great. Good. You get to go home today. Yeah. I got the hotel room all ready for you. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. I'll get the door. Thanks. All righty.
Come. Uh, yes, Stone Cold? Jack. He's taking Jocelyn to the Metro Court. He's going to fight Carly for custody, so I want you to find something that I can use against him, because if he wants a fight, I'm going to give him one. Oh, wait, Carly, wait. I'm not waiting, okay? Jax took my daughter, and I'm gonna bring her... Just that I'm with you on this. You gotta fight Jax his way if you wanna win. I spoke to Diane. She's gonna petition for an order of shared custody. All I want is shared custody, but it's her first night home from the hospital. She needs to be with me. I understand that. I'm just saying. Do not get in his face. Do not yell and scream. Don't give him one more thing to use against you. I don't give a damn about legal strategy here. My daughter just had an operation. She needs to be with her mother. I'm gonna get her. Carly, I... Carly, I... Anything? Yeah. Preliminary searches revealed nothing nefarious that the Valkyrie could use against Jax. Okay, dig deeper and don't leave Jerry out of it. Uh, is Stone Cold suggesting fabricating a link b between Jax and the Dementor? Because such, if such a link existed, they could have dire custodial just consequences. Just figure out how to do it, just in case. I think I will employ the superior technological capabilities of my work computer for this one. So, Jax takes Jocelyn out of the hospital. Without Carly knowing. Carly shows up. Jax tells me that he's going to fight her for custody and that, that he thinks that Jocelyn is safer and better off with him. Carly's on a rampage. Yeah. And let's try to build a castle. Okay? Well, we'll try our best anyway. When it comes. How about the blue one? Hey. May I see my daughter? 